morning, everyone. I hope you have a great 2024 coming up. Happy New Year's Eve. Um, for this year, I, I hope I hope only the best um, for you guys. Positive, peaceful, upcoming year. Um, I want to talk about how with a narcissist, don't hang on the past. The past will always be a part of you. But going into this new year and looking, you want to look forward to the future. Trauma, abuse, the scars, the memories, that's always going to be with you. But you don't want it to hold you down. You don't want it to control you and con and confine you into a, a, a dark corner. Don't let it stop you from living your life and being free and happy and having peace. Um, it's completely okay to talk about your exes, to talk about your old family, your old friends that you used to hang out with, um, to talk through the abuse, to raise awareness. Um, people, some people have never heard of narcissistic abuse. Some people have no idea that even exists. Um, some people don't even know what gaslighting means. They don't realize they're being brainwashed and manipulated. Um, so it is completely okay to talk through the trauma, through the past experiences, to share your insight, um, to help others. The difference is you don't want to stay in that, in that area. You can talk through it to help others, but don't stay in that past mindset. Um, my experiences and people that I've dealt with in the past, I wanted to share those stories. I wanted to make it known that narcissistic abuse is a real thing. Um, if I would have known about any of that situation two decades ago, it would have saved me a lot of trouble. And therefore, I find it very important to discuss um, different situations with lots of my exes, um, lots of my old family or old family or friends from my past, my old life that I had. But that's no longer who I am. That's a chapter in my life. So once you realize that, that it's just a chapter and it doesn't have to be your whole story. It, it doesn't have to be your book, your whole book. It's only a part of your, your story. Um, it doesn't have to rule you or control you. You learn from it. You realize what you were dealing with. Of, of this person, you realize who this person was once you see them for who they are. And no matter how hard it is, you pick up the pieces and you start rebuilding yourself. Whether it takes days, months, years, little by little, um, you keep moving forward. It doesn't mean that you're just going to jump from this to, to just extravagant healed overnight. No, it takes, it takes a while, but working through that trauma, talking through it, sharing your experiences with others and letting them know that this is a real thing, that they're not alone. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. And letting other know, others know that you can get through this and you can do it is very important. And that no matter what they tell you, no matter how crazy they try to make you seem, no matter how bad that they try to make you feel and um, ruin your reputation, um, tell horrible stories about you, 
and you feel isolated and alone, just know that you're not alone. Ever. Okay. So looking forward always. The 2024 is coming. It's tomorrow. The new year. It's a new you. Some people have all these different things they want to do. They want to, you know, stop eating this, stop doing this, work out, da, 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 da. They have this whole list. Just focus on looking forward, taking step by step, and taking day by day to know the less you interfere and inter interact and you block the narcissist, the less you hang out with negative people, negative family members, negative friends that you thought were your friends and they're not, people that put you down, belittle you, make fun of your appearance, make fun of your accomplishments. They make fun of everything about your life. They put different things down. If people are doing that, they do not need to be in your life. Why are they why are you allowing them to put you down? Just because they're a family member, you're allowing, you're listening to this. Why are you listening to them putting you down? You don't have to listen to it. No. That's negativity. Insults, belittlements, it can come from anywhere. Come from your coworkers. It can come from anywhere. Do not listen to it. You are valuable. You are worthy. You are a strong person. And you deserve great, wonderful things. And going into this new year, don't take the toxic, narcissistic people in your life that you either dealt with long ago or that you are dealing with. Do not bring them they are not welcome. Do not bring them with you into this new year. This new year is going to be all about you and your family, uh, your children, your partner, your whoever. It's about your world that you want to make it. About happiness, about positivity, about being in a tranquil, uh, secluded, um, serenity circle. And anybody that tries to get into your circle of positivity, no, they don't, they're not going to infiltrate that circle. You need to lock it down and protect your heart, protect your mind, and you will find that going into this new year, you will be so much stronger and at peace. Completely. So I'm wishing you guys a beautiful new year. And stay strong and keep the narcissist in the past. I love you guys.